Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation. But remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, the square root of x over 10 equals the square root of 3x minus 58. Well, first thing, I want to square both sides. The square roots are already by themselves, all right? They're isolated, so squaring both sides will help me eliminate those square roots, leaving me with just an x over 10 on the left and 3x minus 58 on the right, okay? Well, from there, I'm going to multiply by 10 to both sides, right, to get x by itself here on the left, all right? So I'm going to actually have to multiply by 10 to both sides, but what that does, remember, goes to both parts here. 10's cancel, leaving me with x equals 10, distribute 10 times 3x is 30x, and 10 times 58 is 580. So now let's get all the x's together. So I'm going to subtract a 30x to both sides. Right there. x minus 30x is negative 29. x equals a negative 58, uh, 580, okay? So now we want to see how many times does... Uh, 29 go into 580. Now, I divide both sides by negative 29. 29, not 8. So let's do long division here. 29 goes into 580. Okay? 29 goes into 580. Well, 29 goes into 58. And that's going to be twice, right? 58, right? 2 times 29 is 58. Subtract them. 58 minus 58 is 0. Bring down the 0. 29 goes into 0, 0 times, 0 times 29 is 0, really doesn't matter, 0, 20. And so x equals positive 20 is my solution here. But I still have to check it, right? Check it. So to do that, I rewrite. I'm rewriting my equations. So I'm going to write the square root of x over 10 equals the square root of 3x minus 58. Now I'm plugging 20 in for both x's. So I have the square root of 20 over 10 equals the square root of 3 times 20 minus 58. Okay? Well, 20 divided by 10 is just uh, 2. So we have square root of 2 here. And 3 times 20 is 60 minus 58. Remember, the square root goes over both parts right there. 60 minus 58 is just 2. Uh, so we have square root of 2 on the right and square root of 2 on the left. Left and right are both equal, confirming x equals 20 is my answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of x over 10 equals the square root of 3x minus 58. I square both sides to eliminate the square roots, leaving me with x over 10 equals 3x minus 58. At that point, I multiply 10 to both sides. Remember to distribute that 10 to both parts on the right here. I'm left with x equals 30x minus 580. Then this subtract a 30x to both sides, get me a negative 29x equals negative 580. I divided both sides by negative 29, leaving me with just, well, what's 580 divided by 29? Well, negative 580 divided by negative 29, but a negative divided by negative is a positive, leaving me with x equals 20. <clears throat> From there, I rewrote my equation and plugged in 20 for both x's, and I simplified both sides of the equation. 20 divided by 10 was 2, so that's the square root of 2 on the left. 3 times 20 is 60. 60 minus 58, which is all inside the square root, is 2. Square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2. Left and right are equal. Fantastic. Confirms we have no extraneous solutions. And that x equals 20 is my final answer.